giving. It's one of the ways we worship God. But God doesn't tell us to give because He needs our money. He tells us to give because He knows it will bend our hearts towards greater generosity. And generous people change the world. So how has our giving changed the world in 2018? Through our benevolence, we fed hundreds of our neighbors, supplying their kids with school supplies and introducing many of them to God's grace and mercy. We also support two orphan homes and great organizations such as Rainbow Omega. Through our edification, we've strengthened each other through retreats and fellowship, just as iron sharpens iron. Through our evangelism, we've carried the name of Jesus all over the world and here at home. This year, we started a digital ministry where we share sermon videos in our new Plant and Water podcast with thousands of our neighbors each week on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. By the end of this year, the name Deerfoot Church of Christ will have been seen online more than 700,000 times. Thousands of people living within just 25 miles of this building are seeing our name and learning about the Lord's Church for the very first time. So how much does all of this benevolence, edification, and evangelism cost? By the end of this month, we will have spent nearly $750,000, more than half of which covers local teaching and personal evangelism, including $4,400 to Rainbow Omega, $1,100 to Christian Home Bible School, $1,600 to Child Haven, more than $2,100 on meals to shut-ins, more than $9,600 helping our members in need, more than $12,000 on our youth, more than $33,000 in personal evangelism, nearly $2,300 on our prison ministry, nearly $2,800 on our deaf ministry, $2,200 on lads to leaders, and more than $5,000 on special speakers whose words have encouraged and inspired each of us this year. The rest of the money we've spent covers necessary expenses to operate and maintain our building. But the work is not done. More of our neighbors need to feel the warmth of God's love. They need to hear the story of Jesus. They need to know that despite the pain and suffering in their life, God loves them and wants them to live with Him in heaven. With your purpose on Purpose Sunday, we can do that. We can take the good news to our community. We can baptize more of our friends. We can lead more souls to Christ. But it all starts with your purpose. Next Sunday, share with the elders how much you intend to give next year. Spend this week praying about your intentions. Ask God to guide your decision. Pray that your gift will help your friends and neighbors love Jesus as much as you love Him. Why? Because as the English writer John Bunyan once said, you have not lived today until you have done something for someone who can never repay you. God loves a cheerful giver. Today, we pray that God forms us into generous people who trust Him above all else, people who display His generous heart to the world. Next Sunday is Purpose Sunday. Not many of us make a major uh, decision without proper planning to see if that purchase fits within our budget. Uh, how many times we've made a major purchase and then later on we've had the buyer's remorse. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, Paul gives the Corinthians and us instruction on how to plan our giving so that we can do so cheerfully and without regret. It reads, Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. As it's used here, purpose is to decide, uh, to make plans, to contemplate, uh, to examine. Given, giving to God is not to be taken lightly. Many years ago, the elders began using this verse as a basis for the budgeting process of our congregation. Instead of setting a budget and asking the members to contribute to it, the congregation decides, purpose, what they can give, and the budget is established from the signed purpose cards that are turned in. The signed card is important for a couple of reasons. One, signing the card motivates us 
to decide or to purpose what's in our heart, the amount to, to give cheerfully and not grudgingly or with remorse. Also, signing a card ensures that it comes from a member because visitors are excluded from this process. Once turned in, the elders review each purpose card, which are then destroyed, total the amount, and that is our budget for the year. So we, the congregation, are responsible for the church budget for the year. The task left to the elders is to prioritize uh, the budget and to decide which works and ministries will be funded and to what extent. This past year was a good year. We spent more on benevolence than ever before. With the various community outreach activities, we have contacted more people than ever. Our youth program is growing and is very active. Our last leaders had a successful session and a successful convention. Our social media efforts have grown and we are reaching more people than ever before. House to House, Heart to Heart is being delivered to almost every household within a few miles of this building. We have spent far less on facilities than ever before, and yet we are able to expand our classroom space and it still remain debt free. However, this next year is going to have some challenges for us, but we're also going to have more opportunities. While the additional classrooms are being built without debt, the construction has depleted our reserves, and so we will have less flexibility going forward. While we have less ongoing expenses on facilities, mostly due to no mortgage payment, utility and maintenance expenses will increase due to the extra space and also because of the age of some of the existing HVAC equipment, air conditioning, and, air, uh, and the heating units in our existing building. And of course, prices are going to increase with uh, utilities. Our community outreach activities keep getting bigger, thankfully. We're, we're, we're proud of that, we love that. But the expense associated with those community outreach uh, activities keep, getting, uh, uh, keep increasing as well. Uh, we would like to maintain our social media outlets and perhaps even increase and expand uh, our online presence and activities. Uh, there is a committee of deacons and members discussing what can be done to update, freshen, and brighten uh, the auditorium and the existing classrooms. Uh, we would like to fund a wage increase for some of our staff, which did not occur last year. Uh, we also have an opportunity to help fund an additional, what we're calling a teaching missionary through JCA that would bring more benefit to this congregation, especially during the summer. Uh, this is still well in the planning stages, so more information will be coming about that. So this next week, please prayerfully consider your giving for the 2019 and purpose decide your level of commitment to the Lord's giving next year.